Today we are making simple homemade salsa. So we have a bunch of ingredients from the store, but we also have tomatoes and habaneros from our own garden. Okay, so the first ingredient we're doing is about six cups of chocolate. Okay, so here we have one diced jalapeno, and we're gonna taste it afterwards, and we'll add more jalapeno if necessary. So, so we're gonna slice, dice up about two cups of onion, so that's just about one. Whoa! Whoa! Now we have one full bell pepper that I diced. All right, now we're mincing four cloves of garlic. Okay, so we're gonna add four tablespoons of We're gonna add a tablespoon, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of cumin. Split the salsa into two separate bowls, and into one bowl we're gonna add some habanero peppers just to make it spicy. Be careful with habanero peppers because you do not want to get these near your eyes or on your hands. Salsa is mixed together. Here's the mild one, and here's the death one. So I'm just here for the taste review. Mm -hmm. I haven't had any yet. So let's start with this the mild, which they're telling me is pretty toasty, but good. This still has to be jarred after we get done taste testing. Spicy. That's good. Pretty good. It'll probably taste even better after it sits in the fridge for a while, letting all those juices taste man. combine together. Alright, moment of truth. The hot. No, just get some. I'm not getting that much. Come on with it, quit being a weed. Don't, it's spicy. I don't know. Mm. 
Hold on. Hold on. Just get some. There. It's on there. Cheers. Even enough to tell. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> give us now. My tongue hurts. Give us an outro. Nuts. It's a homemade sauce. <laughs>